Hey, what's up guys? I'm DJ Alex Brown and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we will be doing a review of the Crate Connect DJ Music Pool. As usual, I will be reviewing this pool from my five criteria, which would be price, mobile app slash any capabilities of the website, search functionality, the edits that they actually have, so intro edits, and music catalog, arguably the most important point. And make sure that you either stick around to the end of the video or you check out the information in the description if you're planning to subscribe to this pool. Uh, because I do have a special offer coupon. Let's get right into the video. The first thing we're gonna talk about is the price. They only have one price tier, um, which includes obviously full access to the website and all the features that they have on the site. They offer MP3 and some WAV files, um, but other than that, it's fairly standard across what any other music subscription would have as far as MP3 is, it's all gonna be high quality music that's good for DJing. So to get into the fine details of pricing, the first thing is that one month, cancel any time, is $22. You can go on that plan for $22 a month, month to month. The interesting thing about this subscription is that if you go for a longer term, you start to save a little bit of money. Three months is only $55, and you're saving $11 overall. If you bump that up to a 180-day or six-month subscription, it's $99, which is an even greater savings. When it's not huge in the grand scheme of things, I'm always a fan of subscriptions that offer some sort of loyalty discount for staying uh, with them over a period of time. As far as pricing, their pricing structure is fairly straightforward, so not a whole lot to talk about there. Now we're moving on to a mobile app. Specifically, Crate Connect does not have a dedicated mobile app that you can download. However, they do have what's called a Go version of their website. So it's Crate Connect Go. If you go to log into their website from a mobile device like a phone, uh, you're going to be directed directly to the Crate Connect Go site. And this is a mobile responsive website that is going to be fully usable on a mobile device. Similar to what many subscriptions have uh, that don't have a mobile app, you can use it for the same purpose and same ways that you would use a mobile app. And I will say that it's very nice that they actually have this Go version that's really truly mobile optimized um, because I have seen subscriptions before that their website doesn't work very well on mobile. If you're on a mobile device versus a desktop computer, it's not gonna differ too much between the next set of things that we're gonna talk about as far as features and everything. It's all essentially exactly the same. Now we're moving into the third review criteria of this video, and that would be the search capability. When I tried out Crate Connect's search, I was actually really, really surprised. Their search functionality works really well, and there's a couple of key areas that I'm gonna talk about that were actually really impressive to me. And if you've been in the DJ industry five years or more, you've probably noticed this about a lot of DJ music, DJ apps like Serato, and the differences that they have between something like Serato and something like iTunes. Let's say, for example, you search for uh, the recent Drake song, Way Too Sexy. Um, you may know that this song is way too, the number two, sexy. That's how the title is spelled. Now, if you were to type this in, um, let's say in Serato, and you typed it in as way too, T-O, instead of the number two, in Serato, you're never gonna find the track, even if you have it downloaded. And that pretty much stands to be the same for most DJ subscriptions or music pools. When I looked up way too sexy on Crate Connect, I actually looked it up both ways. So I looked it up first with the number two, and then the letters T-O, two. And I actually found the proper song each time, which means that they have some sort of logic built into the site that understands that you can mean the same thing when you type T-O and the number two. Unfortunately, as far as searching goes, if you're searching for a track that they don't have, much like if you search for a track that isn't on another service like DMS or direct music service, if you type in a search query that uh, they don't have the song on Crate Connect, then you're gonna get a lot of results that are unrelated. Typically, if you type something in on BPM Supreme and they don't have it, you just get no results. As I was testing the search out, I also noticed that you do sometimes need to be careful with punctuation. Although, like I said, the search is very smart and is usually very easy to find tracks. You do sometimes need to be careful with uh, things like apostrophes uh, because you might type something in and get no results. And if you add the proper apostrophe 
then you'll get the actual result that you were looking for. Again, this is something that goes for basically every DJ subscription where if you type something in with an apostrophe, for example, on BPM Supreme, it automatically removes the apostrophe because it doesn't really understand apostrophes. Now, one of the most impressive things about the search capabilities of Crate Connect was that you can actually filter tracks with two genre criteria. Uh, there are other things like, you know, you can type your artist separate from your song name, um, which can be really helpful, but the thing that was most impressive to me was the fact that you can actually search, say, hip-hop remix, uh, because those are two separate categories, but you can put the remix category in first and then put hip-hop, rap, R&B, and you'll get remixes of hip-hop, rap, R&B. I was really, really impressed by the search capabilities um, overall. Now, let's talk about something even more important than finding the music, the actual music edits that they have. First, we have to talk about just the edits. So they call a dirty or explicit edit of a song a club edit, and they call a clean or edited version of a song a radio edit. Um, so be aware of that if you do try to cite that club means dirty, or what would be dirty on a lot of other subscriptions, and radio means clean, or what would be clean on a lot of other DJ subscriptions. This is something I, I figured out pretty quickly um, because I didn't see a separate like clean or explicit designation, um, which I would prefer it that way. It's just one of those things that varies pool to pool. If you look at, for example, Beat Source, it's going to look different than BPM Supreme. BPM Supreme does it a little bit differently than DMS, so it is something that just kind of varies. And when it comes down to it, as long as it's something you're aware of, it's really not a big deal. What I'm typically used to is that a radio edit is a version without an intro, and then you have an intro version, which obviously has an intro on the song. Um, but an intro version is also sometimes called extended version on other platforms where on Crate Connect, you're gonna find that if it says intro, it's just an intro version, and they don't really call anything extended versions. So it's really a matter of personal preference, but in the end, it's probably best to just be aware of it. The interesting thing about Crate Connect is that one of the first things I noticed was that they have a ton of really good quality instrumentals and acapellas. If you look at some of the songs that they have on there, especially newer songs, you'll often see an intro edit uh, for the club, just a standard edit without the intro, um, an acapella, and an instrumental version, um, which I thought was really interesting because on something like BPM Supreme, you'll find that they do have some instrumental edits and acapellas, but it's a very, very small part of the library, and sometimes they're really not very good. So the quality of the acapellas and instrumentals is very good, and there is a serious abundance of them. So if you're a producer or you like to make remixes, Crate Connect would be a really good pool for you to consider. Finally, we're moving on to the last part, which is probably one of the most important. Really depends on what kind of DJ you are, but uh, the music catalog. In my experience with Crate Connect, um, they do have basically every song that is on the radio today, um, with a few exceptions. Um, one that I haven't been able to find on really any music pool is the song A-OK, -Okay, which is a TikTok song. Um, I'm not sure why it's not on any music pool. Crate Connect, unfortunately, doesn't have that song either. I will say, though, that I looked at songs that I've typically seen that are disabled on other pools like BPM Supreme, and they did have all the songs that I looked at. Also, one of the questions that I get asked frequently in videos is, what is the best pool for back catalog? And with DJ music pools, it's really, really tough because um, kind of the legal area that they operate in makes it really hard for them to get back catalog. I will say that I looked at really old back catalog and then back catalog that's like wedding music. As far as wedding music, pretty much every hit like wedding song that is essentially what I would call like your wedding DJ essentials for, you know, stuff you're gonna hear at every wedding, like uh, Earth, Wind and Fire, September, some Whitney Houston and things like that. I looked those up and they had all those things. So if you're say a wedding DJ and you really need the basics, um, Crate Connect is definitely a good pool to go and get the basics. If you're looking for, you know, Frank Sinatra and the stuff that really no DJ pool has or no DJ music subscription has, then you're probably not gonna find it on Crate Connect. I personally didn't find any Frank Sinatra. Another key song uh, when I was looking around at things was Let's Groove. Uh, you may know that this is a TikTok song. 
um, but it's also a pretty old, at least for my time, Earth, Wind & Fire song. Um, and I know for a fact that BPM Supreme does not have that song because I looked it up a couple of weeks ago and I checked on Crate Connect and they did in fact have it. So that was something that was very good to see um, because sometimes with older songs, um, they'll be disabled on something like BPM Supreme. If you need Let's Groove uh, because you're getting requests for it a lot at events, then you definitely need to try Crate Connect. Also, if you're a club DJ, or really just a skilled DJ, you might be looking for transition tracks. And I can tell you that Crate Connect does have your typical transitions. If you're looking for things like that, again, Crate Connect is definitely a good way to go. Another thing is Crate Connect does have a good walkthrough video on their site, sort of like a tutorial that will get you running very, very quickly um, if you're new to the site. So um, Keep that in mind if you're new to DJ subscriptions and thinking about subscribing to Crate Connect. It's definitely a good place to get your foot in the door because they actually have that tutorial right on the site when you sign up um, that you can use to get started really, really quickly. I personally didn't really need the introduction video because I thought the site was pretty self-explanatory. The site looks good and I know that might sound a little trivial, but hear me out. I have been on DJ subscriptions that feel like they were made in the early 2000s and haven't been updated since. Crate Connect, as you've probably seen from some of the screenshots during this video, it definitely has a newer feel and that's something that I personally appreciate from a design perspective. One thing about the site that you should be aware of when you start trying it out is that sometimes the tracks can take some time to load. And what I mean by that is if you're previewing a track on the website itself, and you hit the play button. Sometimes it will start playing and the uh, needle will start moving across the track but you won't hear any sound. And sometimes it just takes a few seconds for the sound to actually like come on. I'm not sure why it does that. To me, it's not really a big deal. It's just something to be aware of. You know, if you start using uh, Crate Connect and you're like, oh, why, what's going on? Just give it a couple seconds and you should start hearing the music. One question that I get asked a lot in the comments on my DJ subscription reviews is why do they require a website when I'm signing up? Uh, how do I get around this? What do I do? Because I don't have a website because I'm just starting out. And uh, I brought this up with the Crate Connect staff and they do not ask for a website when you sign up. Um, all you have to do is go on and create an account. They're not gonna ask for a website. If you're one of the people who on my past videos has asked, um, you know, what do I do? I don't have a website. Try Crate Connect. It's a lot easier for the starting out DJ to get started up on this site. That being said, it's time to wrap up this video. Honestly, I think this subscription is good for any sort of DJ. They have all of the mainstream edits. They have all of pretty much the wedding music that you're going to need, that you're going to be able to find on any DJ subscription. And typically they even have more of the music that you're gonna need. Uh, like I was saying, they don't have those disabled tracks and stuff that you'll find on something like BPM Supreme. So really, I would say Crate Connect is great for any type of DJ, whether you're a club DJ, a mobile DJ, um, a wedding DJ. Personally, I would give Crate Connect a try. It's a service that I just discovered myself and I'm definitely gonna be using going forward. Even if you're a music producer or a remixer or you like to make bootlegs or edits, Crate Connect is also great for that too. You have all these great instrumental edits and acapellas that are really great to use for the purposes of remixing. This question just came up in my mind now, so I'm gonna ask have on Crate Connect that's an acapella or an instrumental that you can remix it and send it to them. And so the answer on that question was yes. Uh, they do need to moderate the remixes, so if you send them something, they're gonna take a listen through it, make sure it's high quality, and then they will put it on the site. Another thing to consider if you're starting out remixer that wants to get some of your content out there. They do have an affiliate program where you can sign up, get a link or a coupon code that you can share with your DJ friends and have them sign up. They'll get $5 off of their subscription, I believe, for when they sign up, and you actually get a 20% commission of every sale that you make. Um, so it's a really great deal, not only if you're a current subscriber, but if you want to get other people to subscribe too, or even if you wanna make a YouTube video like this one. I do have a custom discount code from Crate Connect. So guys, if you want to give Crate Connect a try, make sure you use code DJ Alex Brown. I'm gonna put it on the screen and I'll also put it in the description with a link and give it a try. I think you're gonna like it. And with the $5 off, it's only $17 if you're gonna do one month. Definitely give it a try, guys. Other than that, I just wanted to wrap up and say thank you so much for watching this review video. If you enjoyed it, leave me a thumbs up on the video. Leave me a comment in the description, especially if you have any questions. And make sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, ring that notification bell. Peace.